Welcome to the January the 2nd 5 a day solutions for numeracy. So the first question says draw all the lines of symmetry onto the square below. And I've already done this. You've got the vertical one, the horizontal one, the one diagonal and the over diagonal. So they're the four lines of symmetry for a square. For a rectangle, we've got the vertical one because it would fold over onto itself. We've got the horizontal one. Again, it would say identical and buffs the um, above the line and below the line. But this time you can't have the diagonal uh, lines of symmetry for a rectangle. The best way to try this is to put a piece of paper. And you'll see if you have a rectangle or piece of paper and you try to fold it diagonally across, that it won't go perfectly onto itself. So a rectangle has got two lines of symmetry and that's all the lines drawn there. Okay, the next question says, at a sports day, six students threw a javelin. And as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six crosses. And the crosses represent where the javelin has landed. It says how many throws were between 10 and 15 meters. So here's 10 and here's 15. And we've got two crosses in that region. So there's two throws between 10 and 15 meters. Okay, the next question. The next question says we've got the digits five, six, seven, and eight. And it says um, we can only use each card once and we've got to make the smallest possible odd number. So to be odd, it's going to have to end in either a 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So we've got the 5 and the 7 and one of those has to be at the end. And we've got a 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, we want it to be as small as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the smallest value in the tens um, uh, place there. So we're going to do 57. That would be the smallest odd number. Okay, next question says to add together 129 and 225. So let's line them up in columns. So 129 and 225. And put a plus sign and draw a line beneath it. 9 plus 5, well that's 14, so put the 4 down, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And finally, 1 plus 2 is 3. So our answer is 354. And the last question is multiply 29 by 5. So again, I like to multiply this in columns like so. So I write the 29 and then times by 5. And let's do our multiplications. 5 times 9 is 45. So we put the 5 down and carry the 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 4 is 14. So our answer is 145. And that's it. So there are answers to the January the 2nd 5 a day numeracy.